We are following breaking news, a deadly fire in Philadelphia's nice town neighborhood. Five others were taken to the hospital. Rusty Matei has been following the story for us, including how neighbors, they came together to help the family that was trapped inside of that burning house. Ross, good morning. Good morning, Janelle and Don. Yeah, it's an uh, incredible story. Also a sad situation considering a man is dead and the house looks like a total loss, but more lives were actually saved thanks to the heroic actions of a next-door neighbor. This fire broke out around 2 a.m. on the 1900 block of Denny Street in Philadelphia's nice town neighborhood. Firefighters arrived to heavy flames and smoke coming from a three-story row home. They were able to get the fire under control within about 10 minutes' time, but not before about a dozen people who were living inside had to scramble to safely get out. We spoke with a neighbor who was living next door on the third floor. He says he woke up to the family whose house was burning. They were banging on his bedroom window and begging him for help. So he immediately started pulling them inside to safety through the bars on his bedroom window. Pulled the family in one by one. To get them out, smoke was heavily following them. I grabbed the little baby first, uh, probably about two, three months old. My concern was just get everybody in. You know, no fame, no glory, no nothing. It's just all helping family. Being a part is one, that's all. An amazing job by him. In total, that man says he helped five kids and three adults safely escape the fire through his bedroom window. And at that point, he still wasn't done helping them out. He says the family was still wearing their pajamas at the time, so he offered up his own clothes to help keep them warm and dry. He truly is a hero. Fire officials say as many as five people were taken to nearby hospitals for treatment. One of them, a 38-year-old woman who jumped from the second story and suffered injuries to her leg and her head. Another is a 24-year-old man who suffered some smoke inhalation. There's no word yet on how the other victims are doing this morning. Also, the cause of that fire still under investigation. Don and Janelle, I'll send it back to you. All right, Ross, thank you. What a heroic, uh, I was going to say, performance by that one neighbor. Unbelievable. Absolutely.